Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Lincoln Nautilus Reserve. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. For 2019, the Lincoln has renamed the MKX, its midsize crossover SUV, the Nautilus. The name change alone is welcome. I always found it hard to remember what vehicle each of Lincoln's series of MK names referred to. Yet there's more going on than a simple badge replacement with the new 2019 Nautilus. The Nautilus adopts a bolder look up front. Most prominent is a new grille, which is similar to those found on the brand's latest vehicles such as the Continental and the Navigator. Behind the grille is a new turbocharged 2-liter 4-cylinder making 250 horsepower that replaces last year's 303 horsepower V6. The horsepower drop is disappointing, but this engine should be more fuel efficient. Now, there is a 335 horsepower 2.7 liter turbocharged V6 engine option that's available should you think the Nautilus need more thrust. The 2019 Lincoln Nautilus is available in four different trim levels, base, select, reserve, and black label. Each comes standard with the aforementioned turbocharged 2-liter four-cylinder engine, and it gets mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. Moving up through the trim levels, of course, unlocks certain option packages, more standard equipment, and different wheel and tire options. Front-wheel drive is standard. All-wheel drive is optional. I recommend the Reserve to make the most of Lincoln's luxury appointments and the optional 2.7-liter V6 to get everything down the road with authority. All-wheel drive would be a tempting option in order to harness all that power, and the extra traction would be welcome in areas that see a lot of inclement weather. Option this way, the Nautilus would tip the scales at nearly 55000 but it has both the features and power that many competitors lack at a similar price. All right, let's jump into this build and price, and let's start with the colorizer. Let's, let's look at the exterior colors for the 2019 Lincoln Nautilus first. Let's look at the colors first, and then let's go ahead and d jump into that gallery. I kind of was doing showing you the gallery in the intro. They've got a lot of great pictures, and they have a lot of great information under those pictures that give us features and options and talk about all the different stuff so we can actually learn from those photos while enjoying and seeing you know, the design of this new vehicle. So this color here is called Rhapsody. It's a shade of blue. And, you know, the resolution on this thing is not very good, is it? The resolution is not very nice at all, but we can see that it's, it's a shade of blue for sure. Then we have a silver here. Then we have their brown, their white platinum metallic tricoat. This would be their infinite black metallic. Burgundy velvet. Sorry, let me scoot that up just a hair and go back here and take a look at that. There's that infinite black. If you miss the top side of that, there's that white platinum infinite black. Uh, burgundy metallic. We've got that magnetic gray. This one's my favorite right here, the ceramic pearl, the ruby red, the ice mocha, and then finally the blue diamond for the exterior colors. Okay, looks to be about five interior colors. One's called cappuccino. The other one's called coffee. Then we have an ebony. We have a slate. And then we also have a terracotta. Terracotta doesn't look bad. The terracotta doesn't look bad at all. I'd either probably go for the terracotta or, or the ebony, one of the two. All right, let's check out this gallery, right? They're going to show us some, inter uh, some exterior photos. We'll go through those, and then we'll go through the interior photos. And you can see that down below, they have a hide details and show details. They'll have a snippet of information. For this particular one, they don't say much other than that this, vehicle, that this particular Nautilus, Nautilus is shown in Rhapsody Blue. Here they're showing us a shot of their Lincoln and then talking about their lane centering. Part of the available adaptive cruise control system uses data from the forward-looking radar and camera to provide continuous steering support to help you keep the vehicle centered in the lane. Here they're showing us a shot of the available panoramic Vista roof, which is pretty nice. Let's see. Let's learn about this grill. The bold Lincoln star centered on a field of appealing and patterned Logo-like outlines confidently stakes the Lincoln Nautilus place on the road. Okay. Well, the grill is nice. They could just say prominent. The bold Lincoln star. Right. I, don't, I didn't know that was a star, actually. I didn't really know that was a star. Here, of course, they're showing a shot of the Lincoln in the snow. And what better time to say that there's an optional, intelligent, all-wheel drive system. We will most certainly be optioning our 2019 Lincoln Nautilus with all-wheel drive. I think it's absurd not to have... To have an SUV that 
that didn't have all-wheel drive. It just doesn't make sense. The optional luxury package includes dazzling full LED multi-projector headlamps with advanced lighting functionality. Available adaptive suspension allows drivers to select its operating mode, comfort, normal, or sport, that suits the driving experience they prefer, from exceptional ride quality to a spirited, sporty feel. This particular model being shown has the optional 21-inch premium painted ultra-bright machine aluminum wheels and available satin finish roof rack rails, just so you know. There's a standard hands-free power lift gate, right, that gives you access to the rear cargo area. I guess you just probably put your foot underneath one of these corners or areas, just like you see other vehicles do, and boom, there you go. You got the pop. The trunk's going to come up for you. Okay, here they're talking about the Lincoln Embrace. It says, with the Lincoln Embrace, when the vehicle senses you approach, because it probably can sense the key fob, right, a Lincoln welcome mat illuminates to greet you. Look how there's like a splash of light, probably surely flashing off the bottom side of the side mirror that's folded in. To show you, you show you the little Lincoln uh, icon and light your path. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that feature. These wheels right here are 20-inch uh, premium wheels, and these are the wheels that are actually standard on the Reserve. Right? We're going to be building a, we're gonna, doing the build a price of the Reserve, and these are the wheels that are standard on the Reserve. It says here, adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering far exceeds what one used to expect from traditional cruise control systems. Here they mentioned on this particular uh, image that you there's an available and optional 2.7 liter turbocharged engine. That engine makes 335 horsepower. What they haven't said is that it makes 380 pound feet of torque. I'm sure they're going to say it somewhere, but it makes almost going on 400 horse uh, 400 pound feet of torque. So I'm sure this thing gets up and goes when you want it to. The rear camera wash makes keeping a clear view of what's behind your vehicle as simple as pressing a button. So it can wash the rear view camera when the rear view camera gets too dirty. There's an available enhanced active park assist which uses ultrasonic sensors to help take the guesswork out of parallel and reverse perpendicular parking. Okay, we got through all the exterior photos. Let's go through these interior photos real quick, and they have the same little bits of snippet, uh, same little snippets of information, and, and the ones that have pertinent information, those will be the ones that we talk about. We'll skip over the other ones, okay? This one gives you a nice shot of that vivid 12.3-inch LCD instrument cluster screen, right? Puts a wealth of information when and where it's needed. Here's an optional seat upgrade, I suppose. Experience the natural beauty of available bridge of wear, deep, soft, leather trim seats. So... Sounds like something to be different than standard. I'm sure they get standard leather seats, but this sounds like a different kind of leather seat. Well, this is showing the wireless charging station. And while it doesn't say that it's optional or standard, I'd be surprised if, well, it might be an option. It might very well be an option. I guess we'll find out. We'll assume that it's an option unless we read other, otherwise somewhere else. So far, we still think it's an option. So on this image, they're letting us know, well, A, that you have all this cargo space with everything folded down. But they also let you know that the second row can be folded down with a push of a button thanks to what they called Easy Fold Rear Seat Back Release. The Lincoln uh, Nautilus has two, op two, comes with two different stereos. You can have a, a, a Revel system that I think is like an 11-speaker system. And then there's another Revel system that's like a 19-speaker system. So you've got a couple of different options, and I'm, I'm sure the standard one sounds pretty good, and, but you've got a couple of different options. Here they're talking about their, their wood selection, and the wood does look nice, doesn't it? It looks very, very nice. So they're talking about that, and we'll have a chance when our building price to pick, uh, I like to call them veneers, but we'll have our chance to pick our veneers, which ones we want. There is ambient lighting that's available for the 2019 Lincoln Nautilus, and a wide range of it as well. Here they're showing the available, meaning optional, navigation system that offers a bird's eye view of the trip and turn-by-turn -turn directions if you need them. Here we can see that there's a push-button transmission on this uh, Lincoln. On the center instrument panel, free up space between the driver and front passenger seats and enhance the clean interior lines. So that's why they decided to do a push-button. So they didn't have to have a, a shifter or a stalk by the steering wheel or anything like that. They want to keep it clean says here, by using the Sync 3 app link, you can connect to your phone and utilize the Waze app. Waves offers turn-by-turn -turn directions, caution alerts, faster routes, and much more are delivered to your center console, making for less distracted driving. So Waze is another one of those apps that does 
d directions, navigation that gets you there if you need. So Lincoln, like other manufacturers, has their own app. Stay connected to your vehicle and the features and benefits of Lincoln ownership with the Lincoln Way app. Here they're showing a nice shot of the available leather trim seat. So I guess it's not standard option. I, I guess it's not standard equipment. So I suppose on the base model, you're not getting leather because it says available leather trimmed ultra comfort seats. Unless ultra comfort's a different style of seat altogether, we'll find out as we keep going forward and forward, and especially when we get to the building price, if there's different seat options, we'll find that out as well. Here they're talking about their rear view camera. There's that bird's eye view they had mentioned a few slides ago that gives you that top view of your vehicle. So you can see the full perimeter of what's around you and your vehicle. I've been seeing a lot more manufacturers starting to do this. They're talking about their center stack pass through. See down here where it's like a cubby kind of thing. So they're, they made it, they freed up some storage space right here. So there's now this center stack pass through where you can put some stuff down there if you need to. Okay, we got through the gallery. Let's take a look at uh, the 2019 Lincoln Nautilus performance features. Let's learn about the performance features and uh, see what they got to say about that. First thing they want to tell us is about that twin turbocharged 2.7 liter V6 engine. Like I said, it makes a lot of power. It makes 335 horsepower and it makes 380 pound-feet of torque. And they claim that, it'll have, that it has an EPA estimated highway fuel economy rating of 25 miles to the gallon. So that's not too bad at all for all that performance. Here they're talking about auto emergency braking. Automatic emergency braking, a standard feature of Lincoln Copilot 360, can potentially help avoid or lessen the severity of a traffic accident. A vehicle with AEB supports the driver by helping to avoid or lessen severity of front crashes with another vehicle in certain situations. So it uses a radar and camera technology and it's scanning the road. And if it detects that another vehicle, if it detects another vehicle, it can provide it. it it can provide a collision warning and automatically apply the brakes if the driver has not taken corrective action. So it gives you, it's going to give you some alerts and then it's going to take action. So it's an active system. And those are my favorite kind of safety technologies are the ones that will, that will eventually intervene for you. There's adaptive steering. It says this system delivers an agile connected feel at high speeds and reduces driver input at low speed. There's adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering. Right? Adaptive cruise control in the Lincoln Nautilus does not does much more than keep the vehicle traveling at set speed. Stop and go marries camera and radar. So the Nautilus can sense and adjust to the pace of nearby cars. All right, that's cool. Stop and go allows the vehicle to come to a complete stop and restart when traffic begins. All right, plus there's lane centering. So it uses data from the forward-looking radar and camera to provide continuous steering support to help keep the vehicle centered in the lane. Now, that's a lot of tech. That's a lot of active tech kind of trying to keep you all safe, I think, isn't it? Then there's something called Lincoln Drive Control. Let's find out about that. Basically, they're just telling us here that there's electronic power-assisted steering. So it's going to make it feel easy to turn at low speeds, and you're going to have a little firmer, stiffer, sportier steering wheel at higher speeds, which is what you want to feel at higher speeds. There's an available adaptive suspension that lets you select operating modes like comfort, normal, and sport. And that's pretty nice. I like that. Then there's active noise control. It says the system monitors the sound profile and then creates an opposing sound wave. When the opposing wave meets the original sound wave, they cancel each other out. They want to quickly let us know about the intelligent, available, optional all-wheel drive system. We will be getting that on our reserve today. And then there's an auto hold feature. Right? And that's pretty cool. When the driver stops the vehicle using the brake pedal, the system will hold and then release the brakes when the accelerator is pushed. So you can actually take your foot off the brake and rest your foot, rest your leg. And there's another shot of those full LED multi-projector headlamps. They're very, very nice looking. They kind of remind me of kind of like a Jaguar a little bit in the front, like a little Jaguar XJ-ish kind of look. But um, very nice light. And yeah, we've gone through all the performance features. Let's move on. To technology features. What kind of technology features are we talking about? Bliss with cross traffic alert? Let's find out. So, this is called the blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So, you've got the blind spot if vehicles are in your blind spot, and if people are, and if you're backing up, you got the rear cross traffic alert. It's pretty self explanatory, but you know what? Every manufacturer does it a little bit differently. Bliss uses radar in the rear, view, rear quarter panels to identify a vehicle entering your blind spot and alerts you with an indicator light in the side view mirror. 
Cross traffic alert also uses radar to detect vehicles approaching from either side when you're slowly backing out of a parking spot or your driveway. If it detects a vehicle approaching from up to 15 yards away, it sends an audible warning, a visual display in the side mirror, and a signal in the message center. We kind of already touched on this rear backup camera, and it has a camera wash system. I don't think we need to get into how these backup cameras work. They're so they're so they're all over cars now. We don't need to really talk about that. But it's cool that it has a rear camera wash feature because I'm sure in situations those cameras get dirty. And yeah, that's nice that you can from in the car get that handled. There's automatic high beams, so in low light situations, automatic high beams amplify the amount of light emitted from your headlamps to give you a better view of what is ahead. All right, and then I think if it's automatic, then it will. If there's another vehicle approaching, those lights will turn back down to normal so you're not blinding the person that's coming your way. Check this out. There's Lincoln plus Alexa. So it, this is going to let you do all kinds of things. You can ask to hear news stories, play music, add things to your Amazon shopping list, update personal calendars, use voice controls, operate smart home devices, including your garage door, thermostats, lighting, and more. That's Lincoln plus Alexa, and that's going to be integrated into the infotainment system here they're talking about that ways again we already know what that is it's a navigation app that just happens to be built into the uh into lincoln here they're talking a little bit more about those revel audio systems so yeah one's a 13 speaker system and the other one's a 19 speaker system that does all kinds of stuff uh that's that's going to be an upgrade now we'll see how much the upgraded stereo costs when we get there and then make that determination of whether or not we're going to pick that up for our build today here they're showing the standard wireless charging and where it's located in the 2019 Lincoln Nautilus. Got to have a compatible smartphone. Here's Sync 3, capable of understanding voice commands. Sync 3 is our latest invoice activ activated technology. And with its easy to use design, interface, and features, it's definitely worth talking about. Experience voice activated technology. Sync, say the word. Of course, there's navigation with available navigation with Sirius XM traffic and travel link. Sync 3. Features easy destination entry. It's easy to locate that hard-to-find Thai restaurant, the nearest ATM, or a highly rated coffee shop. Plus, responsive, adaptive search results are based upon your uh, your preferences. All right. Well, that's good. You can get turn-by-turn -turn directions and all of that. You can get uh, updated directions along the way, weather information, traffic delays, alternate routes, suggestions, and much more. Got to talk safety. Whether sitting still or on the move, the Lincoln Nautilus has you covered with many safety features. The available enhanced security package, now that's an optional package, has includes an interior motion sensor that detects movement inside the car and an inclination motion sensor that detects changes in the vehicle's angle. Like, for instance, if you're being towed or if somebody's trying to jack the car up. right? And then there's another package that's called, and this is standard, this is called personal safety system and it includes a dual stage front airbags. Okay, so it's just your it's your standard crash safety stuff that really at the end of the day all cars need to have now, right? Here's Lincoln Connect. Expand your capabilities with Lincoln Connect, an embedded modem with 4G Wi-Fi capability. Standard in most 2018 and newer Lincoln vehicles. I'm sure it's gonna come in our reserve today. I have no doubt. Right? We know about the 360 camera. With the bird's eye view, we already saw that. They've talked about it a few times. And then last but not least on this page, like every other manufacturer, Lincoln has an app. They have an app that will help you do what? Set up and pay for parking, get roadside assistance, uh, a lot of them lock and unlock doors, complement, uh, schedule service for the vehicle, things like that. All manufacturers are getting on board with that. I think everybody has an app like that now. And I think those kinds of apps are very neat. All right, well, we're getting through this because, you know what, at the end of the day, all we got to do now is take a look at design. They want to tell us a little bit about the design. We need to take a look and learn a little bit about the black label because this is a full build and price review. And even though we're not going to build a black label, I want to look at all the configurations. We want to get all the information. So we're going to go over this page real fast, and then we're going to take a look at what they have to talk about about the black label, and then we'll build and price. Okay? There's ambient lighting. There's auto folding side view mirrors, and there's exterior lighting. These are all design features. Remember, we're learning about the design. So inside the Lincoln Nautilus, available ambient lighting gently glows, illuminating the entire cabin as you approach. Select from seven distinct colors to either complement your mood or change it. Then there's auto folding side mirrors. Right? When you leave your Lincoln Nautilus and lock the doors, the mirrors automatically fold in. 
helping to keep them protected from nicks, dings, and scrapes. When you are back in the vehicle, your key fob, when you're back with your vehicle, with your key fob, and close the door, the mirrors automatically fold out. So we, as you're approaching the vehicle, I totally butchered that, but as you're approaching the vehicle, it can sense that your key fob is in the proximity, and it begins to open itself back up because it's no, it knows you're there. And then there's that exterior lighting, and we already saw that in, in an image where it throws the Lincoln logo down on the ground. So we don't need to go over that again, I don't think. Here they're talking about that optional panoramic vista roof, which is cool. And then there's the access, then there's the what? Is this standard or not? Let's find out. This hands-free power lift gear. It is a standard feature, and it effortlessly opens to reveal the rear cargo area. Press a button on the lift gate or kick your foot under the rear bumper, and the lift gate smoothly closes. And I'm sure it'll smoothly open, too. Yeah, there it is. You can use the fob, simply kick your foot under the door, under the rear bumper. So either way, whether you use your key fob or swipe your foot under the bumper, you can open and close the lift gate one way or the other. All right, Lincoln wants to tell us a little bit more about interior design. Here's wireless charging. There's the heated and ventilated front seats. Now, that's not a, that's not a um, standard option. There are, that is definitely an optional package, okay? It doesn't come with the base model, right? And available leather trim front seats as well. Then you have the unique wood trim. So there's different veneers that we can choose. And we'll take a look at all the veneers. And then this is the bridge of weird leather. So this is like your next level up of leathers, all right? And, of course, they show us that 12.3-inch uh, instrument cluster because it is nice. And you can reconfigure that however you want. I love how the speedometer uh, is over here. And then it puts your speed right there in the center. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Now, they have something that's called ultra comfort seats with active motion. Available ultra comfort front seats with active motion offer a wide range of adjustability. 11 independent air cushions, seven of which offer massage. These seats can help decrease muscle fatigue, aches, and pains to help keep your focus where it should be, which is on the road ahead. There's a bunch of wheel options, and that's going to probably vary depending on which trim level you get. Remember in the beginning I said that, you know, as you move up in trim levels, it changes what wheel options you have. So if you get the base model, you're probably not going to be able to get the top of the line wheel with that base model but here's the wheel selection that they have for anywhere from 18 to 21 inch wheels they don't have a 19 inch variety apparently here they're just talking about the sculpted exterior because remember we're on the design page and the exterior is nice and like i said i think it's a very attractive suv i just wish it was uh had a little more of an athleticism to it just a little bit more athleticism to it but it's i'm not complaining though it's a nice car it's a nice suv uh and then black label right then Black Label, elevate your Lincoln experience with a curated collection of interior themes, right, because they theme these vehicles, meticulously brought to life in high-end materials and a host of membership privileges. Lincoln Black Label. So let's find out a little bit about the Black Label, and then let's go build and price, okay? Now would be a good time to say that I did a build and price of the Lincoln Navigator, I'm sorry, Lincoln Continental, and I did that as a Black Label vehicle. So... Like I said, the black label vehicles are just generally themed vehicles, right? Here's the one theme, the Gala Gallery, right? And it has things, it shows its theme in red, right? Not, it doesn't come with that necklace, I'm pretty sure. But it's very attractive, right? They're trying to set this whole tone. I don't know if I like the seats, how that, that pattern is on the seats. Yeah, there's a better shot of it. I don't know if I like that. I'm not sure if I like that. Okay, let's check out the other theme real fast. The next one is the Chalet Gallery. And this, this one's in a white theme, right? White's in very light. You're gonna. This car is going to be dirty all the time, isn't it? Look at the inside of it. All right, so the pattern in the seats is the same. Looks like they changed even the woods. Like looks like it gets different woods, too. It's cool. I don't know if I like that one. I don't know if I like that one. Okay. And then last but not least, there's the Thoroughbed theme. And like I said, when I did the Continental, this is the theme that I chose because it just seems to work for me. This seems to be the more masculine theme to me. I like it. See the black the interior, the woods, the leather, the metal. To me, that's luxury. I, look at that. That's gorgeous. I like that. Now, that looks good. If we were going to do a black label, it would be the Thoroughbred theme. We're not going to do a black label, but this is the one that I like, just so you know. Here are some black label features, right? You get that super high-end audio system. You get the 360-degree camera. And you get those ultra-comfort front seats that we were talking about earlier. Right? That all comes standard when you, get the, uh, when you get a black label Nautilus. I skipped over this 
when we first got on this page, but this is some of the other perks, member privileges that come along with the black label, culinary connections, premium maintenance, vehicle care, and pickup and delivery. I'm not going to get into it because we're not actually doing a building price of the black label. I just want to touch on it so because I had skimmed over it, and I want to make sure that we get everything on the page. Now we have. Now let's go do our building price. I'm ready. I think you're ready too. Okay, well, we know which model we're getting. We're going to get the reserve. Starts at $48,000. I want to get that good engine on there. I want to get that 335 horsepower engine. And I also want to get the intelligent all-wheel drive. And that's going to cost us another basically $2,500. And I'm totally okay to pop for that. So let's get that. Then we can move on to exterior colors. Now I said that I liked the ceramic pearl. It's a $695 option. Can we change the... There we go. It's a $695 option. I think if we close this tab up... Yeah, there's other ones. There's exterior packages. So what do we want for packages? I don't need a trailer tow package. The driver assistance package included what? Adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering, adaptive steering, collision mitigation, and all that. Um, I'm going to pass on that. We're going to pass on that. I'm, I'm not into those, those set of systems enough to want that. I don't even use cruise control at all. So it's not worth my $1,600 to put that in there. Now, is there anything else I might want? Now, what's the technology package? What's in there? Is that where the heads-up display is, which I already selected it? Enhanced active park assist, front park aid sensors, 360-degree camera. Well, I guess if we want the camera, if I want the 360-degree camera, then that's what that is. But honestly, the enhanced active park, the front park aid sensors, they've, they're trying to bundle that stuff in there to make you want to have to get something based on just one little thing. But you know what? I don't think I want either of these packages. Honestly, I don't think I want either of these packages. I think we can save ourselves the $3,000 and change. Now, what I do want, what is this ultimate package? Now, this gives us the full LED headlights. This gives us the upgraded stereo. And this gives us the 21-inch wheels. All right, they're talking my game now. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, we'll do the ultimate package. So, look, we just, we just saved ourselves $3,000 and some odd dollars by not getting the driver assistance package, which, for me, there wasn't anything in there that I really wanted nor the technology package. There was nothing in there that I really, really wanted. It was okay. We already got our special set of wheels, so we're not going to choose any wheels. For exterior options, well, the blind spots included. We don't need an engine block heater. Oh, you can do a la carte enhanced active park assist. You can do that a la carte. Front park aid sensors. Oh, yeah, we can do that a la carte. We'll do that a la carte. How much does that move that up? Not too bad. So, oh, that adds the whole package? Nope. I don't want to do the whole package. I thought we could do that a la carte. Uh, we got the headlights, the lane keep assist system. We got that. All right, so we already have the panoramic Vista roof. Do we want the uh, rear bumper anti-scratch pad load protector? What that is is like when you – well, that's not that. I always clicked the wrong thing. Hang on. Let's move up one thing. There it is right there. I. All right, a rear bumper, I thought they were going to show us a picture. Basically, when you're sliding stuff out of your back, a lot of times you're sliding it over the bumper, and it's like scuffing up your bumper. So they put down like this clear, thick plastic applique that prevents the bumper from getting scratched up. So um, I think that's a worthy ad. For most folks, that's a worthy ad. For me, I would, I would, I would remember to pick all that stuff up and not scratch my bumper. But for most folks, I look at their bump, back bumpers, and they always take a hammering. So... I think that's a good investment, that little piece there for sure. Okay, for interior, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it real simple. Um, let's take a look at this terracotta. I kind of like the terracotta. The terracotta looks kind of interesting. Although at the end of the day, I might say to myself after a while that I wish I would have gotten black, but I would never get the ebony and then think I should have and then wished I would have gotten the terracotta. So to play it safe, to play it safe, we're going to get black leather interior to play it safe. All right, so we can close up colors. What about seat type? All right, so we do have seat types. There's a leather trim front bucket seats. It's the only, uh, it's the only type of seat. And then what else is there? There is the durable lightweight rubber cargo mats, all-weather floor liners. You know, this is all stuff that you can get as options, but we'll go ahead and get those all-weather floor liners, right, because for the winter time, you need that stuff. Heated steering wheel, we have it. Uh, interior appliques, we don't need that. Well, the interior appliques, they just mean the wood trim. And we already have a standard wood trim. This one's different, and I like this one right here. I like that one right there. That looks good. They don't show that over here, but 
but I'm going to assume that that's the one that we have. Interior cargo cover, right? Some of this blends in. They need to darken up some of these words because you can't see them. Interior cargo cover is behind this second row. You know, you've got all your stuff that you can put back here. Well, people can look through your window and see it. You can get a little tonneau cover that stretches over the back of that stuff so it covers up all your stuff that you have in the back. That's what they mean by that. So we're going to get that. I don't think we need a Lincoln uh, DVD player. I don't need that. Do we need the ultra comfort seats with active motion? Let me refresh my memory with that. Oh, with massage and all that. Nah, I don't think we need those. I don't think we need those at all. We already have the voice activated touchscreen navigation. What radio type do we have? All right, we want to get that radio upgrade. I guess we already have it. There it is. No, we already have it. There it is, the Revel Ultima system with the 19 speakers. We already have it because that's bundled with our package, right? The Reserve basically gives you everything because the Reserve is just one step under the black label. The only difference between the black label is they theme it. They theme it. Yeah, I guess they change enough. They change the seats and stuff, but they theme it, and that's the real major difference. All right, so we've gotten through everything. Let's go over to our build summary. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get over to accessories. The accessories is nothing but bike racks and junk, so we're not doing any of that. What's the interior accessories? First aid kits, storage compartments. I, no, all that stuff you can go pick up at the dealer if you really wanted to at the parts department. Okay, so the base MSRP on this was $53,440. $440. We added almost $6,800 in options, and we're out the door at just under $61,000 for our 2019 Lincoln Nautilus Reserve. We got the big engine. We didn't hold back. We got everything. We got all the stuff that we wanted. It's fully loaded. The only thing it's not, is a black label. Honestly, the only thing it's not is a black label. It's a wonderful vehicle, though. I'm going to go ahead and print off this build summary. So if you like the way that I built and spec this 2019 Lincoln Nautilus Reserve, then you can download that build summary in the description below. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you're still here, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching the whole video. You're awesome. I really appreciate that. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to keep doing more great content. I'm going to be expanding what I'm going to be doing. So please stay tuned, right? Other than that, uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day.